thank you, everyone. Uh, it is my pleasure to present this morning to you. So uh, thank you, thank you for uh, giving me a really nice introduction uh, about me. Uh, I wish I wrote down about myself a little bit shorter, but <laughs> thank you, thank you for really nice introduction. So uh, what I'm going to talk about today uh, is how data science can be uh, applied to uh, the maritime industry. Uh, so before I begin my uh, presentation, I would like to just briefly uh, introduce myself. Uh, so, yes. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so b before I begin, I just want to tell you that I added a couple of slides about uh, data science. So uh, I, I came to this conference uh, yesterday and then I realized that maybe I want to uh, present a little bit more about data science uh, because I'm not particularly an expert in the maritime industry, although I recently started some uh, research around the shipping industry, uh, global logistics, uh, et cetera. Uh, so I want to bring uh, some of the data science education and research uh, to the audience. I think that's a little bit more uh, interesting to, to the people here. So um, uh, this is uh, something you can uh, read about uh, myself. So right now I'm working at uh, Graduate School of Data Science at Seoul National University. Before that, I uh, worked at some business school in the U.S. and. Uh, I, I studied and worked in uh, different fields of study uh, before uh, coming back to Korea. So uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, overall like uh, three big topics. So one is the uh, era of big data. So uh, how we uh, came uh, to where we are uh, today. And then I'm going to talk about the, uh, the potential uh, of data science applications in uh, the maritime industry, which is, I think, uh, burgeoning. And then lastly, I want to talk about some uh, efforts made in Korea about uh, maritime data science uh, and also data science education in, in general. So uh, let me begin with the uh, era of big data. So now it is a little bit, uh, I guess, even uh, boring to say uh, the big data and data science and maybe artificial intelligence technologies have, have changed uh, the world and the way we live uh, almost. So all those things uh, have been fueled by the accumula massive accumulation of data. Uh, so. Uh, these days, uh, really uh, unimaginable amount of data are being accumulated uh, every day. And then that, uh, those data actually come from every aspect of life, like, uh, like travel. Uh, so a lot of you came to Korea uh, by, by plane. So those traveling uh, data, sales, uh, social media, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, Every uh, aspect of our life uh, is being captured and uh, structured as data, and that becomes uh, fuel uh, for some new services and innovation. So I think some of you uh, may not be familiar with uh, data science, the concept of data science, perhaps. So uh, I prepared really kind of brief introduction of what data science does. And in short, uh, data science is basically an attempt or field of study uh, to convert data into insight. So we want to convert the data uh, that you are seeing on the left to something very useful uh, in what, whatever you're, you're, you're doing. So that's data science. But oftentimes, uh, so this is really nice uh, conceptualization uh, of data science, but in reality, uh, when you start collecting data, it is really uh, oftentimes dirty. So it, it can be dirty in many different ways. So you uh, have to uh, clean up uh, those data before even you start uh, doing anything useful. 
So uh, the way uh, I would define uh, data science is the uh, this A, B, C plus D. So uh, in order to uh, collect and uh, clean up and uh, do something about the data, uh, you need to be uh, very, let's say, uh, proficient in building models like uh, artificial intelligence or machine learning. And also you need to be uh, really good at handling uh, really large scale data, uh, which can come and go really fast as well. And also you uh, need to understand and handle all the computing infrastructure uh, behind it. Then uh, once you are competent in that layers, then you, you can start like kind of converting those data into some useful insight in what you're, uh, what you're doing. So that's the domain you have. So in, our, in this case, the domain will be the, the maritime industry. So it can be uh, port management or, or ship or vessel, et cetera. So that is domain and uh, data science is going to uh, deal with the conversion process from data to insight. Uh, so this is my really brief introduction of uh, data science. So uh, these data science, uh, let's say, um, breakthroughs uh, have really started transforming uh, a lot of industry uh, on the ground. So for example, uh, one of the most, let's say, popular examples uh, mentioned in, in media and uh, people is this kind of autonomous uh, vehicle. So it's uh, like it is already uh, somewhat, it became a boring topic. It, 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 we are now taking it for granted uh, somehow. So, but it is really uh, astonishing achievement, I would say, uh, that we, we can build some model that can real time, that can make real time decision making, uh, real time decisions. Uh, about what to do, uh, what kind of action to take uh, in, uh, for, for driving in the real time, uh, real world situation. So, but, but it is not perfect, but on the ground, uh, we are seeing uh, really functional and uh, functional breakthrough uh, using data science and uh, artificial intelligence. So what uh, enabled uh, this kind of uh, innovation and breakthrough is really the first thing is the strong digital infrastructure. So now we are talking about like 5G network, which is uh, almost as fast as the wired connection. And also uh, that uh, large scale infrastructure uh, breakthrough uh, enabled uh, collection and use of large scale data. So. The reason why Tesla like could build uh, uh, autonomous like vehicle, uh, they they really relied on the, the, the a lot of data collected from uh, image and video. So uh, this this type of innovation and breakthrough were uh, enabled by the use of big data, uh, which was enabled by the strong digital infrastructure and. Then what about uh, the ocean, uh, basically? So uh, in, in the ocean, uh, we are also seeing uh, somewhat uh, uh, increase in data collection. Uh, and, uh, and a lot of people start talking about uh, what can be done uh, with, the, uh, with the data collected for, uh, for the ocean and the maritime industry. So it, the, the data is uh, growing. Uh, in this area. But of course it is, uh, it is hard uh, to deploy some sort of let's say high speed network or infrastructure in the ocean because we cannot just walk on the water and build some tower, cell tower and those things uh, like we do in, in the, on the ground. So that, that's the challenge. Uh, but I, uh, learned that uh, Korea kind of recently uh, launched this uh, LTM infrastructure, uh, which covers like kind of 100 kilometers uh, from the shore. So 
this uh, like this is like kind of uh, setting up the broadband uh, across the nation, uh, even covering covering uh, the ocean. So 100 kilometers is really kind of uh, big coverage, uh, I, I would say. So we now have some infrastructure uh, in the ocean, and then I, I heard that they are kind of starting to deploy some sort of application and. Uh, based on that infrastructure. So we have strong infrastructure now, and then uh, the government is, uh, let's say, piloting some, some sort of use case uh, on that uh, uh, infrastructure. So I, I think uh, the maritime industry is seeing some uh, really uh, strong growth potential uh, with this strong infrastructure and some ideas about the services uh, for the future. So, uh, so I really think uh, the the benefit or uh, strength of data science is really kind of coming to the maritime industry as well. Uh, although it, it is lag uh, compared to what we are seeing uh, on the land, uh, but it is coming, I think. And then that is uh, being enabled by the technologies and infrastructure uh, installed uh, uh, recently kind of uh, installed. So uh, uh, a lot of uh, problems or challenges can be, uh, let's say, at least uh, addressed, or um, we, we can at least try uh, to address them uh, with the use of this uh, data uh, uh, being made available uh, with the strong network infrastructure. And there can be a lot of things uh, to be done, like uh, safety issues and uh, climate change, uh, which is becoming more and more prevalent uh, global issue. And then uh, some uh, water resource uh, protection, et cetera. So the next topic is what are being done uh, for uh, in the maritime industry uh, to address those issues with data science? So I actually studied and collected some cases uh, about what are being done uh, in this area. So some of these cases that I uh, collected, uh, you may or probably know, but it was uh, pretty new to me and I kind of wanted to share with you, uh, taking this as an opportunity. So a uh, couple of interesting like kind of attempts from startups or uh, NGOs and uh, that that I found uh, include like uh, this uh, Sinai, which uh, runs some uh, integrated platform uh, data analytics uh, for the maritime uh, logistics uh, or environmental uh, monitoring. So this this is one of them. And then also people are thinking about building some uh, autonomous driving uh, uh, on the ocean as well as the, the land. So IBM and some uh, other companies are working on uh, making uh, these vessels uh, autonomous in terms of the, their, their driving and routing. And then, uh, so just like Tesla uh, uses uh, cameras to um, uh, build their uh, auto driving uh, models. So some companies are uh, looking at an opportunity to use camera images to uh, make uh, some vessels situation awareness uh, uh, based on AI and uh, some data science. And then also some, some NGO is collecting data about vessels and uh, rate uh, is risk factors, and then classify some of the vessels kind of as high risk or low risk, and they are making some some success. And also, I, I think it's really kind of clever application of the computer vision. So in terms of uh, fishery uh, resource protection, uh, some Australian uh, NGO uh, try to use computer vision to scan uh, those uh, fish images, uh, et cetera, to 
uh, check whether uh, water resources are, are uh, being properly uh, used. And similar uh, attempts are, are being made uh, on many fronts. So I, I want to uh, skip through uh, these cases uh, because I'm uh, almost close to uh, my time limit. So I, I just want to reiterate the, the opportunity that we are seeing uh, in Korea uh, with the deployment of this FEM not, uh, infrastructure and uh, e-navigation system. But I really think that this uh, new infrastructure, e-navigation system is kind of one of the possibilities uh, that can be done or built on top of this network infrastructure. So uh, if you remember when the, the first I, iPhone kind of came about, so at that time, we didn't even have like kind of App Store or a set, uh, those things. But once the iPhone kind of uh, broke uh, that market, uh, once they kind of built the uh, platform that led people to do something on top of those uh, platform and infrastructure, um, uh, the rest was kind of history that we all know. So I think uh, once the, the infrastructure is laid down now, so we can expect something similar uh, in the maritime industry as well. Uh, so uh, you can uh, read this slide. And I, as a kind of last part of my, my talk, I kind of prepared uh, what kind of uh, data science education uh, or emphasis is going on around the globe. So uh, Stanford, so the slide after this is not kind of included in your packet. But uh, what, uh, so Stanford University uh, and UC Berkeley are really kind of pioneering uh, the education of a large scale uh, cadets of uh, data science uh, trained people. So Stanford is building a new complex for data science and computation. And UC Berkeley is uh, like uh, running, uh, developed a university wide organization for computing data science and society and they created the, like kind of this new intro data science course uh, which uh, almost like 6,000 undergrad students take every year so you can imagine uh, how large scale it is to uh, train uh, this data science uh, equipped people and then at SNU, we are also kind of working on training these people, which we hope, which I hope uh, that eventually kind of influence some other interest, industries, including the maritime industry. And then uh, the way the, the philosophy behind our education is this uh, ABC plus D as well. So uh, AI algorithm and big data and comp computing, we kind of train students uh, competent in this area and then they can go out uh, in the world and then uh, apply those skills to domains, including uh, the maritime industry. So I think the future is bright and uh, thank you for my, uh, th thank you for paying attention to my presentation. Thank you, yeah.